Brushes are my favorite thing to play. It's one of the most sensitive ways to play as a drummer, and it's one of the coolest ways to really create amazing textures. When you play the brushes, it's a couple different rules that you have to apply by, but ultimately you can still make great music. The first rule is the left hand. The left hand is your sweeping hand, like a broom. You sweep, one, two, three, four. One, two, uh, uh, uh. This is with an accent. This is without an accent. We'll go back to the accent. Then you can take that right hand with the same spangling pattern you play in the right hand with a rod cymbal, you add that to the center of the drum, like this. Then you can add the hi-hat in. Then a little bit of bass drum. Then sometimes you can add some fill. The cool thing about the brushes is that they're really used with great singers. You can use them in certain arrangements with big band. You can use them even in certain arrangements with horn players, or you can just use them to play softer. For younger drummers and drummers that are playing around locally, you can use them in different venues, whether it's a restaurant gig or club gig or whatever, but it's an art form that you got to really check out. Some great drummers to check out are Vanille Fournier, Papa Joe Jones, Kenny Clark, Elvin Jones, and so many others. But I really love the brushes because it's a way to find your own creative sound. And I have a lot of fun playing the brushes, but you've got to really make sure you check out the brushes and make sure that you know how to play the brushes by themselves and with the hi-hat. So, like this, and also like this. So again, the brushes are a great thing to have fun with. It's a great way and a true part of the jazz tradition of being a jazz drummer. I love the brushes.